In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a command to display the instantaneous wattage of your Mac like this. All right, so let's open up a terminal window and the command that we're going to be using is called system underscore profiler. So when you run that without any arguments, it's just going to query your system, create a report and spit out a whole bunch of information. Now, this is slow and a much easier way to access this information is actually through system settings, go to general about and then come down to system report and you can see most of that information here split into categories one of them being power which is what we're going to look at today so let's modify our system profiler command and just show the power section so we can do that with system profiler dash list data types and that's going to give all of our options for those different categories, one of them being power data type. So let's do system profiler SP power data type. And that's just going to print out information about power. So as you can see, I am not plugged into an AC charger right now. I, I'm not charging, but we can still see information about my battery. The fact that it's 77% uh, charged and that matches up with what I see up here. Cycle count means I have charged and fully discharged my battery 369 times. They are recommending service for me, go figure. And my full charge capacity is 5,812 milliamp hours. Now I'm not plugged into power right now. Let's see how this output changes when I do that. So let me go do that real quick. And now I am plugged into power, as you can see up here. And this is the um, Mac charger that came with my computer. So let's see what we get now. So now we are connected to AC. Our wattage is 86 watts, serial number, and the name of the charger is the 87 watt USB-C power adapter, which if you look at the label, that's the wattage that we expect to see. Um, here on the label is, as I'll put up on the screen, a zoom in of that. Uh, it's 4.3 amps at 20.2 volts, which if you do the math, that does equal 87 watts. So we're getting pretty close to that. Now I have two different power sources in addition to the MacBook charger that came with my MacBook. One of them is a portable battery bank. So let's plug in my MacBook to that. So my MacBook is charging, but how many watts am I getting from that? We can run the command again. And as you can see, I'm only getting 18 watts from this battery pack. And if you look at the battery pack uh, specs on the back of it, it's maximum 1.5 amps at 12 volts, which indeed does equal 18 watts. And I am seeing that it's not charging. It is connected. Sometimes that'll switch over to yes after a certain amount of time but in this case, maybe it's just not getting enough wattage from the pack. The last one that I have is a USB port and the specs for that are 2.4 amps at five volts, which is equal to 12 watts. So let's see when I plug into that, if I get 12 watts. All right, let's run our system profiler command again. And we're only seeing five watts, which that's interesting. I did have to adapt it with an adapter. And, oh, you know what it is? If I look at the specs, let's look at the specs again. I think if you're, sh if I have my GoPro, which is recording right now, plugged into another USB port. So I think they have to share that, that wattage. So they're each only getting five volts maybe. Uh, or five watts, I'm, I'm sorry. So yeah, who knows, uh, I, but that's probably the case. Anyway, let's go ahead and make an alias so that you can, instead of typing this command every time that you can type this, and what we're gonna do is grep it for wattage, just so we can see only that wattage line, and that's gonna spit out this one right here. So to make an alias, you can open, on a Mac, you can open up your ZSHRC profiler, or RC, um, and then we're going to copy and paste this into an alias command in there. So to do that, I have a couple other aliases here. You can see how they kind of work. So you say alias, the name of the command that you want, and then what you want executed. So we'll do alias wattage equals in double quotes, this whole thing. 
and uh, I don't think we need those quotes in the grep command. In the grep command, so that looks good. We'll save that, and now if we uh, reload our zshrc file, we can do that with source. We can pick up those changes, and now if we type in wattage, we see that we're getting five watts. And let's do one more switch. Back to the original MacBook charger, we'll do wattage. We're getting 86 watts. If you like this type of stuff, I have other videos here, such as speed testing your internet from the command line on Mac. So check that out next.